So I wanted to install my own carpet. I didn't want to pay for installation. And when I started looking at the price of tools, I was a little annoyed because the biggest expense was this carpet stretcher device that was anywhere from $300 to $500. I, I will say I found a really cheap, uh, low-rated carpet stretcher for like $75, but I could tell it wasn't going to be very useful. So I decided to try to put something together myself. These are the main pieces of the carpet stretcher. I was looking at carpeting a, a room that was a little over 12 feet wide, so I got a 9 foot 2x4 and then a smaller board, about 2 feet, and then I got a kicker. Now I had to go buy an actual kicker. I couldn't make my own. I watched a bunch of videos online and uh, people had all sorts of homemade kickers and they just didn't work. Although I will say there was one very entertaining video of a guy who was wearing tap shoes while he demonstrated his uh, his kicker carpet stretcher. So he was tapping away in his uh, garage, which I thought was hilarious. But I did buy a carpet kicker. This was a Robert's carpet kicker. Um, I think I spent about $60 on Amazon. Definitely the most expensive part of this device. So you're going to need your kicker, you're going to need a long 2x4, something that stretches over three quarters of the room that you're going to stretch, and then a smaller 2x4. Now here's the secret weapon. It's just a car jack. Just pop the trunk of your car and pull out a jack. I would definitely use a mat though. I'm using just a yoga mat because some car jacks have a bit of grease on them and that's the last thing you want to get on your carpet. So once you have your, your kicker, your wood, you're going to take your kicker, make sure you have it on a good setting so it can latch into that carpet with its teeth. Once you get that set, push it down real tight, nice and secure. Take your long board, push it up against the back of your kicker. Then you go to the other end and you attach your small board to the back of the long board. In the small board, you're going to push up against the edge of your car jack, and you'll see that in a second. I generally like to create a bit of an arc before I start using the car jack. So you can see there's an arc here. I'm going to slowly press that down, and that's going to start putting not too much tension, but just enough tension to start pushing on that kicker, make sure everything looks like it's aligned and working. Then I'm going to start turning the car jack. Now, it turns pretty easily. If you're having trouble turning a car jack, I definitely would not recommend using the tool that comes with the car jack because that's very greasy. I would just use a bolt. You can find a bolt anywhere. This is the bolt I used. Once you put that in, it's going to give you extra leverage. You can easily push on the two boards. So how much tension are you going to get? You're going to get a lot of torque coming out of this car jack. Obviously it's designed to pick up cars, so it's got more than enough strength to push a carpet. I was able to get about an inch of rise just from using the car jack and you can get much much more unfortunately I didn't want to pull the carpet too much because I've already uh, installed it but that is how you make a homemade cheap carpet stretcher